Okay, Jake. Came from the loading platform. I look after Foster. You get ready. Getting away in the car, but we're going after him. No, one of you stay here and watch the warehouse. Yes, sir. Where were you when this started, Raymond? I found one of their guards tied up a few moments ago. I tried to call the police, but the line was out of order. Strange. I've had trouble with mine, too. They must have put the switchboard out of commission, but I can still use the radio. What happened, my boy? I had just taken the jewels out of the truck and was about to... They're gone! You mean the jewels? Yes, I had them in the belt just before the Shadow's men attacked me. And they got away with them. Foster, you should have let me have the jewels in the first place. This never would have happened. What happened, sir? Well, you ought to know. No. I was sitting here watching on my puzzle. I was just about getting a... Well, something hit me. Gee, I hoped it didn't bust my puzzle. Well, never mind that now. Go get police headquarters on the radio. Tell them the warehouse has been attacked again. I can't get a thing. It's dead. Where's Steinbeck? Oh, you mean Mr. Steinbeck? Yes. I don't know. Uh, the last time I saw him, he was in his research room. I suppose you don't know that Sparks has been hit in the head and tied up, and that your radio has been put out of commission. I am in the midst of an important experiment. Never mind about that. Go fix that radio and call the police. Mr. Bradley's the only one who can give me orders around here. We'll see about that. Up where you are. Where are those jewels? We didn't get them. You're lying, young. 
Come clean or you'll never get away from here alive. I lifted those jewels in the first place. And I mean to get them back. Oh, Mr. Bradley, we'd better organize a thorough search. I checked up with the guard and one of the shadows men didn't get away. Not likely any of them would hang around here after getting away with the jewels. But I'm sure... I have to leave at once. Well, then I'll walk out to the car with you. Supposing your gang does get the jewels, you'll have to turn them over to the shadow. Do as I say and we split 50-50. What a chance. Everyone who has double-crossed him has been mysteriously killed. And the worst of it is, none of us know who Shadow is. Well, I know. Who is he? Professor Strang. And I can prove it. You haven't received any message from your mysterious chief since Strang was arrested for murder in the counties, have you? No. I believe you're right. It certainly does look like he's a whispering shadow. Of course I'm right. We better get out of here. You're gonna tell me who the whispering shadow is of Fitz Strain. They released Strang from jail this morning. Well, what's the difference? We'll get the jewels and be out of the country. Not me. Strang is the shadow. I don't dare double-cross him now that he's free. Well, tell me who has the jewels and I'll get them. If the shadow finds out that I'm even working with you, it will be the finish for me. I've got to get back to the rookery. All right. If the shadow's up there now, you'll be absolutely convinced that it's Strang, won't you? Yes. And then if Strang should happen to be found dead, you'll have no one to be afraid of, except me. Uh, I'll let you know what happens at the rookery. you get out? They released me. The body of my supposed victim mysteriously disappeared. So they can't prove that the murder was committed. Father, what are you going to do? I'm going to get the jewels from Foster. You're not going to harm him? Not unless I have. But you realize those jewels mean more to me than life itself. Has there been any message from the shadow? Not yet. We'll be lucky if he doesn't kill us all. We're leaving the warehouse without the jewels. What happened to you last night? Why, I... He's nearly captured in the warehouse, and I, uh... What excuse have you this time? Well, speak up. 
The warehouse was too well guarded. We got Foster, but before we could get the jewels from him... Where's your father? Oh, never mind. You wouldn't tell the truth anyway. Why, Jack! There's no use trying to play innocent. Your father is the Whispering Shadow, and you're working with him. How dare you make such an accusation? You're the only one that knew I went to the warehouse last night. And when I got there, the Shadow's men were lying in wait for me. Did they get the jewels? You know very well they got the jewels. And by this time, they've turned them over to your father. I'm going to get them and prove your father is the Whispering Shadow. Someone snooping around the side of the house. You two go out the back way, while you and I will sneak out the front and we'll surround them. is tying him up in the next room. It's strange. Did you tie him tight? He'll never get away. Gentlemen, the Whispering Shadow's power over us is ended. We have him here in the flesh, and we can put an end to him forever. We'd all like to be free from the power of the Shadow, but look what happened to Kruger and the Countess. The Shadow made quick work of them. Yeah, he wasn't a prisoner then. You don't realize the power of the Shadow. This is suicide. Police couldn't do anything. He even got away from them. Well, this is one thing the whispering shadow can't get away from. Poison gas! 